We're going to continue our Look at Jesus series today. Uh, as we mentioned last time, it uh, goes through a number of things that Jesus does that we can learn from that are based on the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, almost entirely. We'll look at the beginning of Jesus' ministry today, and I should clarify, it's the beginning of Jesus' ministry in the Gospel of Matthew, uh, because Matthew skips over a number of events that are in Luke and John, uh, so we will be looking at Matthew mostly, but we'll also touch upon some of these other things. Our main Bible passage will be Matthew chapter 4, verses 12 to 25. But first, let's look at verse 11 in Matthew chapter 4. Mazu matai yoncho juyisetso mitai to umoimasu. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended him. Soko de akuma wa hanarisatta suruto tinshi tachi ga kite yesu ni tsukaita. Mo, tsugu wakaru to umoimasu keridumo, kore wa shi yesu wa arano de danjiki shite, I think you can understand immediately from this that this is the end of Jesus' fasting in the wilderness and his being tempted by the devil. What isn't clear when you just read the Gospel of Matthew is that between verse 11 and the next verse, verse 12, there's actually quite a gap of months, possibly as much even as a year of gap in between there. And the events in that gap are not recorded in Matthew. He passes over those events, although some of the events are in Luke and John, as we mentioned before. でも実はこの2つの聖句の間にスカゲツカン、1年ほどのガプにな for example, the wedding at Canaan is only in the Gospel of John. That's the place where Jesus turns the water into wine. And also, Nicodemus coming to Christ. This isn't recorded in Matthew either. So we want to keep that in mind, and we can go to John 21, tells us that Jesus did many other things as well. And if every one of them were written down, I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. So, 
あ生育と次の生育の間のギャップとか出てきます。また、ある言葉は記録されていますけれども、別の福音書でもっと詳しく記録された場合もあります。For example, you know, if you don't remember this when you're reading the Gospels, you can sometimes think, well, this isn't written here, so it must not have happened. But that's not the case at all. We only know what is written. We don't know what may not be written. And that's important sometimes. For example, if you're reading along and you read one verse, the next verse, and it feels like an odd transition or something, well, maybe a bunch of things are left out in between there. Maybe they're in the other Gospels, or maybe they aren't. Or maybe there's something there recording an event, but it's in more detail in a different gospel. So we have to remember we can see what is written, but we cannot see what is not written. もう覚えておきたいことは、もうそれはもう書かれたものを見るんですが、書かれていないものはわからないんですね。はい。じゃあ続きます。今度はそのまた4章12節に続きます。イエスはヨハネが捕らえられたと聞き、ガラダイに知れぞかれた。マテュー 4:12 When Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he returned to Galilee. So here, Jesus hears that John, and that's got to be, of course,、uh, John the Baptist has been put in prison. Then he goes back to Galilee. But this isn't directly after the temptation in the wilderness. Actually, a lot of things happen in between, as we mentioned. So, Yohane to you, Nara, Koriwa, Mochiran, Sundaisha, Yohane no Koto, Sashtimas. So, so no news of Kite, Garai, Ni, Shirizo, Kareta, to Arimas, Demo, Saki, Ni, Himashi, Kiri, Demo, Koriwa, Yuaku, no, Monogatari, no, Tsugu, Ato, no, Kotu, Junak, de, Gapu, ga, Atan, this, ne. So, de, Yohane, no, Koto, Oboeti, Richard, to, Moimas, Kiri, Demo, それはもう、洗礼者ヨハネは、エラノで説教して、人にバプテスマを授けられた人物ですね。シエスにも、洗礼を授けられたことがありました。Of course, I think you remember John the Baptist, of course. He, he lived in the wilderness and he's preaching, he's baptizing people, and he even baptized Jesus himself. Of course, when we hear Galilee, we think of the Sea of Galilee or Lake Galilee. Uh, so we have an idea there, but the verse was actually not talking about the lake itself, but about the region of Galilee on the west side of the lake and to the north of the lake. So, this is Galilee of Yomuto. Much on so, Galilee no ko, so, 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 じゃあ続きます。13、14節。そして、ナザレを離れ、ゼブルンとナフタリの地方にある後半の町、カフナオムに来て住まわれた。それは預言者イズヤを通して言われていたことが実現するためであった。And verse 13 and 14 tells us, Leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum. Which was by the lake in the area of Zebulun and Naphtali to fulfill what was said through the prophet Isaiah. So, first let's look at Capernaum. Capernaum no koto o choto hanashimas ne, mazu. So, kore wa Capernaum no iseki no shashin des kiri demo, mo me no mai ni sono iseki wa shiesu no jidai no tatemono no dodai no iseki des kiri demo. もうその現代的の建物もありますね。それはもう現代の教会になっていますけれども、その下にペトロの家の遺跡と、ペトロの家に、uh, 上に建てられた教会の遺跡もあります。その床はガラスでできていますから、その遺跡も建物の中から見えるんです。So here we have a picture of Capernaum or the ruins of Capernaum, and the closer part of it is just typical buildings of Capernaum, the city there,、uh, the leftover foundations from the time of Jesus. And then we have a very modern looking building, which is actually also a church. And underneath that church is the remains of Peter's home and of a very old church that was built at the location of Peter's home. 
Now the building that you see here, the floor is made of glass, so you can actually go inside and look down through the glass and see those other ruins as well. So this is the place that Jesus went to, Yesu wa kono machi ni ikarimashita. Uh, and he also preached in the synagogue there, the synagogue in Capernaum. Now, the actual synagogue that Jesus preached in uh, was completely gone except for the foundation. So this is a little bit newer synagogue that was built on top of it a few hundred years later. But the place is the same. So this is the place, if not the building, where Jesus preached in the synagogue and where also he cast out a demon, you may remember, in uh, Mark 1 or Luke 4. So, この Let's get back to Matthew 4, and here's verses 15 and 16. And note that these are actually a quotation from Isaiah 9, 1 and 2 that uh, Matthew is quoting. So he writes, Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea along the Jordan. Galilee of the Gentiles, the people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, the light has dawned. Zebulun no chi, Naphtali no chi, Mizu umizoi no michi. Yordan gawa no kanata no chi, ihoji no gadaraya, kudayami ni sumu mono wa, oki ni hikari o mi, shinokagi no chi ni sumu mono ni hikari ga sashi konda to kakarete imas. So kare wa zebron to naftari ga arun desu ne. So kare wa sono Israel no juni buzoku no futatsu no buzoku desu ne. その Israel はその国に入ってからもうその土地をその十二部族にの間に分かれて、そう、Israel はそれはガラダヤで、イホジのガラダヤとなっています。イザヤの時代にも、しかしそれはゼブロン地とナフトニの地の同じ地方となっています。So it says the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. And of course, Zebulun and Naphtali are two of the tribes, the sons of Jacob, the 12 tribes. And so uh, Isaiah is telling us, and Matthew is quoting him, that the region where those tribes settled is the same region that became what's now called Galilee of the Gentiles. Now notice that it's of the Gentiles. Galilee of the Gentiles, uh, they called it, but it is actually part of Israel in Jesus' time. But so many foreigners had come in that weren't Jewish and stuff that they considered it almost a Gentile area. There were many, many foreigners there. So, Ihoji no Gadaraya to Kakarete Imaskeri de mo, Izia no Jirai ni mo, Yes no Jirai ni mo, Sari wa moto moto Israel no tokoro desu keri de mo Ihoji wa taksan haiti imashita no de Sari Ihoji no garere to yobarete koto ga arimashita So Zebron to Naftani no chi no koto nare Kori wa sanzen nen mai ni no chizu desu ne Asheri ya hoshu no mai no chizu ni natte So no Naftani wa Yes no jidai no garere ya to niti iru chiki desu ne. Sori wa garadaya ko no nishi kaigan to kitu no ho ni arimashita. Motto nishi no ho itara zeburo no chi ni hairimasu. So as you can see in the picture here, the area of Naphtali and Zebulon was quite similar to the area of Galilee by Jesus' time to the west of and to the north of Lake Galilee. So let's go ahead and go back to Matthew. Chapter 4, verse 17. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. 
マタイ4章17節その時からイエスは、悔い改めよう。天の国は近づいてと言って述べ伝え始められた。宣教の開始ですね。このところで、マタイによる福音書の中。So here is where Jesus begins preaching, at least as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew. And it tells us that he's preaching in various locations there as he goes. いろいろところで宣教しています。Now, in verse 18, we see Jesus walking beside the Sea of Galilee. Juha says, Yesu wa Garadai eko no hotori o aruite orareta to arimas. Sono toki ni futari no kyodai Petro to yobariru Shimon to sono kyodai andere ga mizu umi de ami o utte iru no o gorani natta karere wa ryoshi datta. Kuro wa mochinan kono ato futari no deshi to nate imas ne. So it tells us as Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, and they were casting a net into the lake for they were fishermen. And of course, these become two of Jesus' disciples. And Matthew keeps it very simple. He just says that,、uh, Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Matai ni yorufu kunjo tottomo, mo kantan no koto. のようですけれども、イエスは私についていきなさい。人間を取る漁師にしようと言われた。二人は次に網を捨てて従った。そして次は二十一節。そこから進んで別の二人の兄弟、ゼベダイの子、ヤコブとその兄弟、ヨハネが父親のゼベダイと一緒に、船の中で網の手入りをしているのを。ご覧になると、彼らをお呼びになった。Then in verse 21, it continues on, it says, He has Jesus going, he says, Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, and they were in a boat with their father Zebedee preparing their nets, and Jesus called them. And immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. この二人もすぐに船と父親とを残してイエスに従った。そう、マタイだけを読んだら、このもうペトロと呼ばれてシモン、アンドレイ、ヨハネ、ヤコブは、シエスがあ呼んでくれたところにすぐイエスに従っていて、これだけを読んだら、もうこの4名の弟子になった人は、ここでシエスと初めて出会ったと印象を受けるかもしれません。でも、それではなかったです。別の福音書を見たら。Now, what's interesting here is if you read Matthew by himself, you can see that it just feels like、uh, Simon, Peter, Andrew, John, and James, these four people come and they become Jesus' disciples the very first time they meet Jesus. Because this is the first time they meet Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew. But Matthew is shortening things a lot. So if we look at the other Gospels, we see that they already know about Jesus before this.、Uh, so it's not as sudden as it appears here. So, Bets no Fukun Shou Mitra, Kono Kotaba mo oboe te de shadu de shou. John 1 36.、Uh, here's John the Baptist, and he, he's preaching, and he says, When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. Sendeisha Yohane wa arano de sekyo shite iru toki ni natte imasu kere demo kouka karete imasu. So shite aruite orareru Yesu o mitsumete miyo kami no kohichuji da to itta. Miyo to arimasu ne. Look, he said. Demo dari ni hanashite imasu ka. But who's he talking to? Well, one of the people he's talking to is Andrew. So, no, kite iru hito no hitori wa Andre des. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, We have found the Messiah, that is, the Christ. Yohane no kotoba o kite, yes ni shitagatu futari no uchi no hitori wa. シモン・ペトロの兄弟、アンドレイであった。彼はまず自分の兄弟、シモンに会って、私たちはメシア、アブラを注がれたものという意味に出会ったと言った
So and the to Peter Wamo Kono Toki Kara Kono Hikara Yes no Kotinitsuite Ste Imasne. So Peter and Andrew already know about Jesus at this point. Now we don't know how much longer afterward this miracle happened. Well Donogurai no Atani Kono Kiseki ga Okno Varitika Wakari Masen Kiri Dimo. Sakana Hokaku no Kiseki o Boiti Rishai Maska Kiseki Tekini Yes no Kotaba de Kono Petro to Andre wa Taksan no Sakano Dojini Tota Hanashi Desne. So ste Kono Eo Kurani Naruto Futatsu no Funega Arimasne. So the hitotsu wa Petro to Andre to Yes ga Haiti du Fune demo Muko ni mo hitotsu no Funega Arun Desne. Darega Haiti du ka. So de wa Yohane to Yakobu des. So if you look at this picture recording that miracle, a, picture, a painting by Rubens, uh, what you see, of course, is there's two boats. And the one boat has Peter and Andrew and Jesus in it. And the other boat that's coming in the distance, who is in that boat? Well, it's James and John and the sons of Zebedee. And that's very clear when you read this story in Luke chapter 5. Aruka Gosho te kono deki goto yondara tsugu wakaru to moimas. So it's after this miracle that uh, Peter and Andrew and James and John follow Jesus when Jesus calls them. So they have seen something about Jesus. It's not as sudden as it looks in Matthew. So ste sono deshi ni naru yobikaki wa kono kiseki no atto to natte imas ne. Let's get back to Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. Now Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness among the people. Ah, oh, praise the Lord. Give thanks to him for this. Now he's going through Galilee, but the news about his work does not stay in Galilee. Yes, wa garadai e chiho o aruki muwate e risharin des kiri de mo. Sono yes no nasatta koto ni kanshite no shirase wa garadai e no naka ni tomare nai des ne. Tsugi wa soko de yes no hyoban ga shiria ju ni hiromatta hitobito ga yes no tokoro e iroiro no byoki ya kurushimi ni nayamu mono akure ni toritsukarete mono tenkan no mono chubu no mono nado ariyuru byonin o tsurete kite no de kore ra no hitobito iyasareta It's next it tells us here in verse 24 News about him spread all over Syria, and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering from severe pain, the demon-possessed, those having seizures, and the paralyzed, and he healed them. Well, this is interesting, because Syria is not part of Israel. So the people coming from Syria are probably not all Jews. There might be some, but there's probably a lot of foreigners coming, a lot of Gentiles coming as well. And Jesus welcomes them and heals them whatever they need, just the same as everyone else. Kore wa mo kyomi bukai koto desu. Shiria toyu tokoro wa mo Israel kokunai dewa nai desu ne, gai koku ni natte imasu. Sore wa mo gendai to naji yo ni Israel kare kite e iku to tsugi no kuni desu ne. Sono Shiria kara no hitobito wa mo yurai jin jinakte ihojin ga oe de sho. Sono kaikoku ni sunde iru yurai jin ga ite toshite mo skunai de sho. Demo oze ga kite no de ihojin mo taksan kite iru yo desu. So ste sono ihojin mo shiesu wa kangei shite mo iasareta koto ga kiroku sarete imasu. Jitsu wa matai wa kono koto kyocho shite iru yo desu ne. 
And it really actually looks like Matthew is emphasizing that Jesus is ministering to these people from outside of Israel. Next we read large crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and the region across the Jordan followed him. Well, the Decapolis, the region across the Jordan, that kind of actually goes together. Mo Decapolisu to Jordan Gawa no Muko Gawa Mo Choto Kyotsu no Koto ni Nati Ruki des Kiridimo Decapolisu a Nandeska Mo Kantani itara Suriwa Juno Machi no Koto o Sashte imas. So Juno Machi o Kazoe du Koto Daki Junaki Kuriwa Nanika Dome no Yona Kanke no Juno Machi desne. So stay Roma Teko Kuno Stani Itimo Kono Juno Machiwa Toku Betsu Kiniga Ate Teko Kara Aru Tedo no Giu O Tanosin de Imashtene Grisha no Bunka no Machides Israel no Bunka Yudaiji no Bunka Wanai Yudaiji no Skunai du Shou. So the Decapolis just means the ten cities literally, but it's more than just ten cities counting them. It's sort of a league or a group with a relationship. And these 10 cities enjoyed special privileges within the Roman Empire, that they had a certain degree of freedom that other cities in the empire did not have. And their cities a very deep Greek culture and probably very few Jewish people there as well. And yet there's lots of people coming from the Decapolis to see Jesus, to meet with him, to follow him. So, kore wa ano Decapolis to machi no hitotsu desu kiri demo, kore wa iwayuru ski topurisu. Kore wa mo kyuyaku seishi ni mo tojo suru machi desu ne, beto shian to yobarete imasu demo onaji tokuro desu. Samueru ge no sanju isho ni kakarete iru machi desu ne. So, this is Skiopolis or Bet Shian is what it's called in the Old Testament. It actually appears way back in 1 Samuel chapter 31. You can find this city and some record of it. It's a very old city. Uh, this is the ruins of it, but it's one of the cities of the Decapolis in Jesus' time. So, totomo furui machi desu ke do, yesu no jidai ni sono Decapolis o juno machi no hitotsu no nate So, hoka no machi wa どの町でしたかと聞けばこの地図をご覧にください。これはディカプリスの銃の投資ですけど、もう通知がついているマッチですね。一番切ったのはダマスコス。知り合いのダマスコス。現代のダマスコスと同じマッチです。南の方ではい
And he's doing it this is very early in his uh, gospel account in chapter 4. もう、もう、so Matthew, of course, is written a little bit after the time of Jesus. Uh, Jesus, you know, from the time Jesus is crucified, maybe 25, 30 years after, Matthew's getting old and he wants to get everything down while he can remember it and writes the gospel, we can imagine. But he's emphasizing to the people at that time and, you know, for the Jews, that Jesus had a ministry to all people, not just the Jewish people. And that's a very interesting thing to know. To notice and Matthew shows us that Jesus welcomed and loved all kinds of people. So when we look at Jesus, the question becomes, what then shall we do? イエスはすべての人々に対して大きな愛を持っているしゃりましても、私たちはどうでしょうか。私たちはどうすべきでしょうか。このよい見本を見るとき。それは私たちも、もう、もう、している人だけじゃなくて、外のものとか、いろいろ
導いてくださり、教えてくださり、お方です。地におられる父なる神様、あなたこそは創造主であって、創造する時からシエスと聖霊は共に働いていらっしゃいました。三位一体の神様、私たちの救い、私たちの喜びです。どうか今来ている人々の上に恵みを注いでください。憐れみを与えください。病気や苦しみがある人を癒されますように。そしてもう一人で過ごしていて寂しくなっている人々にあなたのご臨在を与えてください。励ましを与えてください。一人一人の必要、ご存知なのはあなただけです。その必要を備えてくださいますように。聞いている人だけじゃなくて、その家族、その親戚、その周りの人々に、そして会ったことのない新しい人々にもその愛を与えてください。たちたち一人一人が、シエスとの本当の出会いがあって、シエスと共に歩み、そして精霊の導きで、良い証をするものとしてくださいますように、大きな感謝を持って、シエスの皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン